welcome everyone as already we have discussed the kirchhoff's current law in the previous video today we are going to practically visualize the kirchhoff's voltage law or in other words you can say the law of conservation of energy today we are going to design the kirchhoff's voltage law this is the schematic diagram of the circuit which we are going to draw you can draw any circuit but this is an example which i am going to draw on this breadboard you can see here we have a dc supply practically we have a dc supply here we can vary this from 0 to 30 volts we can vary it from 0 to 30 volts then we have three resistors you can use any resistor i have a carbon resistor here you can see the resistors whose value you can determine by either by the color coding or by the multimeter in the circuit you can see the voltmeter across each resistor we have three voltmeters across each resistor v1 v2 and v3 which will measure the drop across r1 r2 and r3 practically we have three voltmeters here whose range is 20 volts 10 volts Whatever will be the drop that will be shown across this. Now we are going to design this circuit on this breadboard. First of all, you will see the positive of this DC supply. So practically this is the positive of this DC supply. So we are going to put it on the breadboard somewhere here. You can see the previous video on which I have shown how to use the breadboard. So you can see the positive has gone here. Now you can see the wire is connected to the one terminal of the resistor, say R1. We have three resistors, so this is R1 say this is R1. I will connect one terminal. You can see one terminal is connected to the positive. So I will bring one terminal. As you know, vertically this is shorted on this breadboard. So one terminal I will connect here. Another terminal I will connect somewhere here. So this is R1. As you can see, the positive is connected to one terminal of R1. So I have connected the positive of, of the supply to the one terminal of the R1. Now you can see on the diagram, one terminal of R1 is connected to the another terminal of the R2. So I will bring another resistor. So I will connect one terminal of R1 with the terminal of R2. So you can see I have connected one terminal of R1 and I will connect another terminal somewhere else at different potential. So R1, R, R2 I have connected in series. Now we have to connect R3. You can see one terminal of R2 is connected with the terminal of R3 can see one terminal of R1 is connected with the terminal of R3. So I will bring R3. This way I have connected all three R1, R2 and R3 in series. Now you can see the another terminal of R3 that is here is connected to the negative of the supply. You can see the line is coming from the negative of the DC supply. You can see the negative of the DC supply is here that is coming and going to the one terminal of R3. So this is the negative that is denoted by the black wire and it is going to the one terminal of R3. So I will connect it R3. This way the circuit is complete. Now you can see in the schematic diagram we have to connect voltmeters V1, V2 and V3 across these three resistors. So I will connect the voltmeter say this is V1. I will connect it across R1. This voltmeter has two terminals positive and negative. I will connect it across the R1. As you can see, the plus is connected to R this side and a minus is connected to this side. So I will connect a positive here. I have to connect it across. So positive here. And negative, I will connect it here across R1. This is V1. Now I have to connect to V2. You can see in the schematic diagram. V2 I have to connect here across the resistor. So positive I will connect here across R2. And a negative terminal I will connect here. This voltmeter will give me the reading of R2. How much drop is across R2. Now I will connect V3. So positive I will connect. You can see V3 I have to connect here across R3. So positive I will connect here. And negative I will connect here. So this way our circuit is complete. See I am giving the voltage 10 volts. So I have given 10 volts. You can see drop here drop here drop here here is almost 2 volts drop here is almost 5 volts drop and here is almost 3 volts drop so total is 2 plus 5 is that is 7 and 7 plus 3 is 10 so i will now increase the voltage 18 volts supply now we will see what will be the drop across these three resistors we have almost 10 volts drop here almost here 5 volts drop and almost here 3 volts drop. so there you can see 10 plus 5 plus 3 that is 18 volts so whatever we give the supply and the drop is across each resistor so this way you can design any circuit whichever you want now as you know practically if we short any resistor r1 r2 r3 if we short the resistor the drop across the resistor will be zero say for example if i will short this r2 
so I will short it by some conductor and I will see the drop across V2 should be 0, the entire drop should be across V1 and V2. Let us practically see would that happen or not. I will bring a wire and I will short R2. So I will short R2, I will see what will happen to the voltage. I will give only 10 volts and I will see what will happen across R2. You, you can see here across V2 would that voltage will go 0 or not. I will short it look and the entire drop has gone across R1 and R2 I will remove and you can see the drop has gone across three resistors thank you very much